Hello, I'm Ricardo Chambers with Zone Update 1. Deputy Chairman of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association's Competitions Commission, David Riley, has rubbished claims made by veteran coach MVP track club Stephen Francis that the presence of himself and ISA President Keith Wellington on the J3A Selection Committee has led to the selection of teams which have so far failed to secure Jamaica qualification to the Paris Olympic Games. Riley was speaking on Wednesday's edition of the Sportsmax Zone. The committee works. The committee comprises of several persons with different skill sets and they meet to select teams, whether the teams be junior or senior. Um, this uh, this um, statement about not understanding senior athletics is rubbish. The issues arose because there, when, when you have a team where there's no selection trials or competition for, then the procedure for selecting persons has to be based on the current state of fitness. The beauty about track and field is that we can actually determine who's better based on their fitness. That's why we race them. That's why you line them up. It's not like some of the team sports where you don't really know, you can't really determine who's better. But if you're sending a team to where it is, you can determine who's in best shape. Riley also outlined how the organization has reworked the scheduling of events at next weekend's Jamaica National Trials to aid the men's 4x400 meter relay team in obtaining the qualifying time to feature at the Olympics. What I understand is that um, the, they will be running the 4x4 on Saturday night. On Saturday night? Sunday night. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday night. night. Yeah. Um, the prelims for the uh, 400 meter men yeah. have been shifted to Thursday. Uh, the semi-finals on Friday and the final, and the finals on Saturday, uh, with the top 16 athletes um, from the 400 not required to run the preliminary round. Okay. So they'll just run the semi-finals and the finals, and then they'll be running the 4 by 4 now, four of the top five women in the world are through to the quarterfinals of the German Open following Thursday's round of 16 action in Berlin. USA's Coco Goff and Jessica Pegula, along with Kazakhstan's Elena Rybakina, all earned hard-fought victories over Ekaterina Alexandrova, Donna Vekic and Veronika Kudermitova, respectively. Before Belarus's Arena Samalenka made light work of Daria Kazatkina, the tournament continues live this week on Sportsmax 2 and Sportsmax Plus on the app. Jamaica and Bermuda occupy second and third spots with both locked in two points in Group B at the America's Group 3 Davis Cup playoff tournament in Paraguay after the, Berm the Bermudians dealt the Jamaicans their first defeat of the competition earlier on Thursday, earning a 2-1 victory. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, the Bahamas fell to a 3-love defeat to hosts Paraguay to remain winless after two games at the bottom of Group A. And that was your first zone update for today. For details of these stories and much more, log on to sportsmax.tv. Watch Sportsmax and all live sports action anytime, anywhere on the Sportsmax app. Download it now from the Google Play Store or the App Store.